Hey everyone! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Deslin and thanks for stumbling on today's video. Today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, I am gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine. A little backstory about me, for those of you who don't know, I am a professional makeup artist and a beauty photographer. I used to wear a lot of makeup because I worked at MAC. It's still using a lot of the same products, but just using a different technique. Mostly every day I don't actually wear makeup. I mean, maybe a bit of mascara and eyebrows, but usually my everyday makeup routine, if I want to wear something, it will consist of using these products. There are different variations of the way I do my everyday makeup routine. This is just how pretty much I do every step if I'm going to be wearing anything. Either way, I'm going to be going through the process of each step of how I do my routine. It's going to be different for everyone else, but I'm just showing you how I've been doing it for the past year, pretty much. And for anyone who might ask, my skin type is combination. I have kind of drier areas, dehydrated areas, but then an oily T-zone. So enough chit-chatting. If you guys want to see how I do my makeup routine, then just keep watching. Okay, hey everyone. So first thing in my everyday makeup routine, I like to focus on eyebrows, eyelashes to make them pop, and a bit of concealer because I'm looking tired as f so I started by washing my face, obviously. I used the La Roche-Posay Tolerain Dermo Cleanser. After what I did was I prepped the under eye with the CeraVe Repair Cream. And then for moisturizer, I used my Laneige Hydrating Gel. Love this stuff. So I'm also gonna just seal everything and all the moisture in with Fix Plus. This is my little mini one. I need to buy a new one. So I'm going to be taking the MAC False Lashes Maximizer. It's actually like a lash primer, but I actually love using it for my brows. It holds it up and like kind of sticks it all the way up. It gives it a little bit more volume for the products I'm going to be applying on afterwards. Usually I do like a like super natural looking like bushy brow or I like doing a little bit more of a sculpted or sometimes I do like a bit in between. Honestly, my brow routine, I use the same products, but the way I do it, I kind of switch it up a bit. I take the brush and I just kind of brush, start to brush the hairs up. It is white, but it does dry clear. Sometimes I take a different spoolie just to kind of press it down or I just like use my fingers to kind of press it down just to give it a more rushed up kind of look. Next, I'm gonna take the Anastasia like brow gel. I use the color dark brown and I actually just run this very lightly through just to add a bit more texture. Next, what I do is I take a concealer, specifically the Select Moisture Cover in NW25. I take it with a small angled brush and I start to kind of carve out just the bottom of my eyebrows. So after that, what I do is I take the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. They're like marker little pen things. And what I do is in the space where there's little gaps, what I do is I kind of draw in little hairs. If you guys want more of an in-depth brow tutorial, I'd be happy to do that for you. Otherwise, I'd use the shade Stud and Taupe Stud for kind of the darker hairs and this kind of just to add a bit more like shading. So what I do is I kind of just add the taupe and kind of just go in to add a bit more depth. What I do is I take a spoolie and I go ahead and just really just brush everything out so there's no like harshness. I know my brows look really thick and crazy but I've been kind of liking this like 
bigger, bolder brow situation. What I usually do is I go in with that angle brush and go ahead and like tweak certain areas. Next, what I do is I take the Select Moisture Cover from MAC in NW25. I usually do two dots kind of right where the darkness is, kind of in this area right here. Usually what the numbers mean by MAC, this is a bit more of a peachier, kind of warmer shade. Having that warmer shade really cancels out any blue or purpleness underneath the eyes. You know, color theory. So I just really concentrate that here. And then I don't forget the inner corner here. You can already see the difference that it just really brings that whole area up. And what I do is I use my ring finger. The ring finger applies the least amount of pressure out of all of your fingers because you want to be pretty delicate around the eye area. Next I take my face and body in the color C5. I take just like a small amount like this. It's water-based, so it's super lightweight on the skin. I have been using this for almost 10 years now. Well, not this specific foundation, but I've been using face and body for so many years. Anyone who knows me knows I, I it's all I use. I am experiencing a few breakouts in the chin region. What I do next is I take the MAC 170 brush and I stipple that or circular motions all over the face. It is a super sheer foundation, again, water-based. You can really build on it with concealer or you can build on the foundation itself, but it just gives like a nice kind of like satiny finish all over the skin. I like this kind of foundation because it's super sheer. You can still see your skin through it and it's very lightweight while also evening out the skin tone. And what I do if I want a little bit of extra coverage is I take the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC I'm in the shade NC35. I take kind of like half a pump of that and I use it just for extra coverage in this region. I usually just apply things with my finger or like a brush first and then I go in with a damp beauty sponge. So I just take a damp beauty sponge. I take what's left on here and I go actually over the eyelid. Just so you can see, it really kind of conceals everything. Gives us a nice even base for our eyeshadow. Next, what I do is I take the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder and I kind of just set in the regions where I get a bit oily, which is usually the T-zone. So I use an Inglot 4SS brush because it gets right underneath the eye. Next, I'm gonna take the Nude Stick Snooties Matte All Over Bronze Color. This is in the shade Sunkiss. I absolutely love this product. This, this is my go-to product in the summertime because it's super creamy and yet it dries down to like a nice matte finish, which is amazing because it stays on all day. And the color, honestly, it's like a nice like blush bronze shade. So I just kind of take it like this. I know it looks kind of crazy put it in the cheek region. What I use is I use my fingers to kind of blend it in. It does come with a cute little brush on the end of it. Um, I sometimes use that, but usually the fingers, it helps to kind of warm up the product. And I just like press it into the skin. So there's a few different highlighters that I actually like to use. Again, it depends on my mood, but usually it's either the Balm Essential multi-use stick from Chanel. It just, it's like a, pretty much like a gloss on the cheeks. It's in the color transparent. So this, I usually just take my finger if I want that kind of glossy, glowy, sw I'm sweating, shiny kind of look. Or I like to use the cream color base from MAC in the shade Pearl. It has a bit more of an iridescence and like a, kind of like a goldy kind of pearly shade gives a bit more of a glow this or if i'm feeling like i want a bit more of a staying power i do use a powder highlighter that i use the becca champagne pop highlighter mine is like super gross because it's like almost done but usually i use this kind of on top to kind of set so 
So it really depends on how I'm feeling that day, but usually those are the three that I like to go for. Today I'm gonna do, let's do the, the MAC cream one. I just love it. So I take my ring finger again. I pretty much like to just do it on top of the blush. So sometimes I leave it at this for the skin and the blush, but again, really depends on how I'm feeling. If I know if it's going to be kind of extra hot that day, what I usually do is I like to seal the blush with a bit of a like powder blush. My go-tos for the summer are, these guys are here, I still need to get a palette for it. I have the MAC blushes in Peaches, Mandarin Orange. Um, Sun Basque and Ambering Rose. Or my all-time favorite is the Warm Soul by MAC. This is in the old packaging and I'm almost out. I do have an extra, but literally favorite blush in the whole world. They still have it in the MAC stores and also online, but it's a new packaging and it's just a different shade. So what I do is I take a Stella Z brush in Strobe L307. This is an amazing blush brush. It fits right on the apples of your cheeks. Like I said, it fits a little bit hot outside. I like to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in medium tan. For eyes, I really try to keep it super simple. Either um, nothing on the eyes, just mascara, or I like to put a bit of falsies, half lashes. Um, I do still like a lash just because I don't have any eyelashes. Normally I would prime the eyes, but again, my everyday makeup routine, I try to keep it as simple as possible. So since I do have the base of my concealer and the two powders on top of it, I just kind of take the eyeshadow and put it all around the eyes. I use Soft Brown and Saddle from MAC. And I'm using the MAC 217 brush, just a fluffy brush. So what I do now, I usually like to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone. So for eyes, what I usually do is, um, again, either just mascara and then pop on a lash, or if I want to be a little bit extra and I do kind of like a really thin black eyeliner. The two eyeliners I like to use are the MAC line cold pencil to tight line and then I use the brush stroke liner again from MAC and in the color brush black. This is a, an amazing liquid liner. It's super easy to use. So the lashes that I'm going to be using today are by Lied Lashes. Can't really see because it's kind of overexposed but the lashes in the style 08. They're like a winged lash with like lots of volume to it but Still super natural and great for every day. I love, love, love light lashes because they are a great brand for everyday lashes, ranging from the most minimal type of lash to a still very natural but fuller lash for someone like me. Especially for every day, I love using lashes that are still very natural, but I still want that volume because for those who know, I used to wear crazy big lashes um, to work and stuff, but as an everyday routine, I still like my false lashes. Volume, but minimal. Do you get what I mean? What I love about light lashes is they are cruelty free, the trays are reusable, their tray is biodegradable, and their whole entire lash packaging is recyclable. So amazing, love the brands, oh my goodness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my eyeliner and mascara. The mascara I like to use is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've been trying it out and I actually really love it again. Usually if I'm just wearing mascara though, I love the MAC Extend Play Giga Black Lash. It has the best like super thin brush and it just gives a really natural look to your lashes. So I'm gonna go do my eyes and I will be right back. And voila, lashes are on. They're super, super nice. They really mimic the style of your natural eyelashes. I absolutely love them. And I love this wing shape because it kind of helps to lift up the eyes. So while I let the rest of the glue dry, I usually kind of touch it up with some eyeliner. 
Next, I'm just gonna do lips, and for lips, it is super simple. I literally wear lip gloss. For lip gloss, what I usually do is I use the Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper in the shade 012. I freaking love this stuff. I'm almost out and I need to buy it. This quarantine needs to be over ASAP. It's actually over in like a week, so by the time this uploads, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be in quarantine anymore. Yay! And to finish everything off, I just used the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any requests for any other makeup tutorials, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notifications of new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.